Veer, if you were a young person today, yeah. would you still want to be a journalist? Well, about 10 years ago, and when things were different from today, my son told me he was considering going into media. And I think the logical question would have been television, print. I said just one word, which is don't. Why? Because I think it's over. My parents were agnostics. Mm. I became a believer quite early. I now believe in God. I go to Hindu temples. I pray every single day. We have a puja room in our house. Mm. My wife does an aarti every day, does lights a candle. So we are very clearly believers. Mm. So it's not that we can't communicate with people because we don't have faith. My point is that my kind of faith is very different from theirs. My kind of faith is I venerate my gods. I don't go out and kill Muslims just to say I'm being a good Hindu. Mm. That's according to me a complete perversion of Hinduism. Parallel with politics today is essentially Indira Gandhi without dynasty but radical Hinduism. It's exactly the same way in which we, things are run. We forget that Mrs. Gandhi, even before the emergency, had subverted many of the institutions of governance. We talk now about what Rijuju is saying about the Supreme Court, which frankly is scandalous. But we forget there's nothing compared to what Indira Gandhi did to the Supreme Court, where she promoted people out of, uh, out of turn, where her favorites became Supreme Court judges. Do you believe Prime Minister Modi is bothered Oh, he's very bothered. By the Western press? Of course he is. How do you find Rahul Gandhi different from Sonia Gandhi? Only in the sense that I really don't know Rahul Gandhi. I think he's different from Sonia Gandhi in that he's a talker and he's not a listener. 